<laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Ambrosia Watson, chef and owner of Soul Fire Food Company and contestant on the show Rat in the Kitchen. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. I am so excited <laughs> for um, Thursday's episode of Rat in the Kitchen. Yes. I've been watching the show, and it's, it's a delight. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Nice. How did, yeah, how did it feel to get picked up for the show? Uh, it was almost surreal uh -huh. to be picked up. Um, it was exciting. I anticipated a lot of like just unknowing, just not knowing really what to do or <laughs> how to do it. But um, I had confidence in myself, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, it was it, it was a really exciting experience. Absolutely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And did you learn anything from Chef Ludo? I've watched you know the previous episodes, <laughs> and sometimes Chef Ludo comes in. And he's like giving tips to the um, the chefs in there, or just giving ideas. Sometimes he gets a suggestion from. Sometimes, them. right? Um, he may have gotten a suggestion from me. Ooh. Maybe we'll see. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, he, he, I didn't, I can't say I learned mm -hmm. anything specific. Um, I learned a lot about uh, cooking shows and <laughs> how um, shows are put together yeah. in production. And, and it was very, very fascinating to me. But um, Chef Little was great. He was great. Um, he was a critic. Uh -huh. But you'll have to see kind of some of the things yeah. that he said about us. Um, well, I should say us as in my group. But um, some of the dishes that were created. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah, going to be interesting. The, the preparing <laughs> the dishes, it's always so crazy every episode because so many hands are in each dish. You yes. know, what's that like trying to make a dish that's good? And at the same time, there's a saboteur involved. Yeah. And there's just other people you don't know their skill yeah. level. So you're on high alert. Mm -hmm all the time. The whole time in the back of my mind I'm on high alert and looking kind of side-eyeing everyone mm -hmm. but also trying to focus on the dish because we have to make the dish tasty, yeah. right? Um, so there was a challenge every now and then with that piece of it. Um, the other thing is when I look back at the, when I watch the other shows and I'm like, oh my gosh, they have them doing that. If you notice, every show is <laughs> mm -hmm. a little different mm -hmm. in the way that they present the, um, the challenges. Yeah. So um, ours is definitely going to be different um, in the way that they presented the challenges. But like I said, it, it is definitely something where you're side eyeing and kind of looking over your shoulder and trying to keep track of everyone while you're making a delicious meal. You know? <laughs> I definitely, definitely. <laughs> and you know, spoiler alert for everybody who's watching who hasn't watched the show yeah. yet, only one team has actually caught the rat so far. Only one team only has, one caught, team the has caught the rat so, rat so far. So far. Um, it, it, so it's definitely challenging. I know I've guessed wrong half the time anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I I wish you guys all the luck in that, in that yes. way. And yeah, <laughs> w I guess were there any like tricks for the group to try to catch the rat? Um, I don't. I wouldn't say for the group mm -hmm. to try to catch the rat. I think each of us may have individually had our own oh, yeah. uh, techniques or tricks to try to identify who the rat mm -hmm. was. If you weren't the rat, <laughs> and if you were the rat, you would have to try to blend in yeah. with the rest of the group to mm -hmm. try to go unnoticed. That's so a, yeah, it's always so sneaky. Um, definitely some some fun things that went on during our episode, um, and that's why I can't wait to see I it know. tomorrow. I'm so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> And also, you know, let's just, you know, real quick, let's mm -hmm. talk, about, talk about Soul Fire Food yes, Company. You Soul know, what do you got going on over here in Topeka? Yes, so we started out as a food truck 2019. Mm -hmm. um, we, we started hot and rolling. We were rolling tough. Um, and after we started the food truck, we, we got Best of Topeka Food Truck two years in a row. Um, and we really just were, in a good way, forced to expand. Um, well, we ended up opening a storefront right mm -hmm. across from the Dollar General on 25th and California, where we began our adventure as a food truck. And we opened the storefront and on June of last year. So we're heading in our, we're right, right around right direction. our anniversary. <laughs> yeah. um, and it's been going wonderful. We get a lot of community, community support. Um, there's a lot of people who still aren't aware of what Soul Fire mm -hmm. is and what we do. And we do great barbecue and smoked meats in the city of Topeka. We also have some great sides and some fun favorites like Soul Fries are a very popular dish um, amongst our store customers. But yeah, we are still looking to expand and hopefully, you know, continue to grow slowly but surely. <laughs> All right. Well, Ambrosia, we're out of time, but thank you yeah. so much. I look forward to the episode. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today, and I thank can't wait you. to check it out. Tomorrow's night's episode. Remember, right. everybody, be sure to watch uh, live, send in your DVRs as well to record Rat in the Kitchen on TBS tomorrow night at 8 p.m. And for more information about Soulfire Food Company, you can go to soulfirefood.com. Yes.